and next, fashion advice from that wild As the World Turns character, Nipsey Matters. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. Where does Mitzi get that outrageous wardrobe that she wears on As the World Turns? Well, I went to actress Ann Sayers' New Jersey home to find out and discover that she is incredibly creative and also has an amazing sense of style. This kitchen is fabulous. So you Thank have you. a definite creative flair. What? Tell I me about this style. kitchen. I've been called retro girl, and uh, I think accurately. I don't know. I just I'm attracted to the style of like different periods, mostly the 30s and 40s and 50s. For kitchen, you can't beat the 50s. And I think that there's something about this kind of style that's nurturing to people. And I want people, when they come to my house, I want them to feel like there's food, there's warmth, like, like they're at their grandma's. Well, the kitchen is fabulous, but I can't wait any longer. I've got to see your closet. OK, let's, let's check go. it out. Here we are, Anne slash Mitzi's closet. Yep. Where do we start? Look at these great boas. Different different boas, lots of hats. So what's an outfit so in here one. that is one of Mitzi's favorites, you think? Let's see. Mitzi has a retro style. She's very current, but it's always sort of a nod to the influences of the past. Not unlike somebody I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Then Anne showed me several of her favorite Mitzi outfits. This outfit was the outfit that I wore when Rose called from Oakdale. I was in Atlantic City at the casino, and you only saw it from the chest up because I was on the phone. Hear this, Rose. Don't go there. This is what I just happen to be lounging around the house in when Jax unexpectedly shows up in the middle of a thunderstorm because he thinks he saw James Stenbeck. Later, Anne and I took advantage of an unusually warm winter afternoon as we walked along the Hudson River. <laughs> now, who would you say is more wild in terms of their fashion, you or Mitzi? I think Mitzi's more wild as far as, like, she's more accessorized and um, she's a little over the top, but I'm pretty wild. I'm always the most overdressed girl in the room. I think it has to do with that retro thing. You know, that's just me. That's just who I am. Have you always been into the retro 50s, 60s look? Most definitely. My biggest role model um, is Vivian Lee, played mm. Scarlet. I emulated her from the very first day I was born. And um, I used to, in second grade, I used to sign my papers, Vivian Lee or Scarlet O'Hara. And my teacher would say to me, you're not Scarlet. You have to write Anne on your paper. And I'd be like, well, but I'm going to be an actress someday. Talk about exciting. I mean, it was like a movie. If you were to say, I don't know, mitzify someone, you know, make me a little more like Mitzi. Oh, what I would love to make you into you Mitzi. Do to me? Well, your hair has to be bigger. Okay. Because it's a little, you know, it's a little flat, mousy <laughs> for Mitzi. Okay. It's all about eye makeup, lip color that matches your clothes. It's totally all about attitude, all right? I mean, you you can't not have tood when you're dressed up like that. You know, think drag queen, work it girl, Vogue. <laughs> Anne told me that four out of five outfits that Mitzi wears come straight from her own closet. And many of those clothes she buys right here at Laundry by Shelly Siegel in New York City's trendy Soho. 